Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to XCOM, where we're currently on episode 93. Alpha just came back from that mission over here in uh, New Mexico, and while they were able to do a lot of damage, they did uh, 6 pip damage, if you can call it that, to the Avatar Project, and they took down the Archon King while they were at it. It does come at the cost of most of Alpha. No casualties, as such, but definitely a lot of wounded. Some of which are quite severe, like Zoda over here for 16 days, and Dieter for another 16 days. So these guys are unfortunately unavailable, and that sucks all the more because they're one of my best troops. The Dirty Dozen is mostly there to go out on missions. Cat Pyro is, uh, well, I keep tearing these squads apart, um, sort of, because most of this group is infiltrating, but then Stephanie was with Stallone, so with Blind Commando, on another group, or another mission that just came back. Red 4, um, again, most of Red 4 is infiltrating, but I have a section of Red 4 currently at home, which should be enough. I mean, there's six, seven of them here. That should be enough to actually get sent out an infiltration. Keystone, currently mostly infiltrating. Uh, Black Watch is infiltrating with another group. And Carlo the Curious, uh, this squad really, really took a pounding last time. In five days, this squad should be ready to go out there again. Now, um, there is still this little uh, red blip over my ship. So I'm a little hesitant to be moving around. Because the last thing I need is for this UFO to start and pay me a visit. So I'm really hoping that at some point we're going to lose this UFO so I can start moving around again. And with that, uh, go to operations or go to areas where I'm actually useful. And we did just get a couple of new rebels. Let's go and recruit with that one. Uh, there was another one. Here, New Indonesia, also has a rebel. You're going on intel. Now my intel is going up pretty damn fast. I'm at 108. And I have a lot of areas on infill, sorry, on intel, so that should give me quite the bit of intelligence income. Reason for that is that I want to make contact over here in New Africa, oh, sorry, West Africa, and then head over to Western Europe, where I need to go towards the black site data coordinates. Um, I'm a little hesitant to take off though, while that UFO is still airborne, so just hold here for the moment. Uh, spec just learned a new trick, cool under pressure. I'm always checking which operatives are in which squads. Uh, these guys are probably all trained out. This group is going to go into the field ASAP. This group, and this is why I was training up Sebastian, this group is on infiltration. The rest of them, not so much. So let's just give Sebastian another round in the Advanced Warfare Center. UFO also comes for you if you stay in the same place. Yeah. I was a little worried about that. So staying in the same place, just staying put, probably doesn't make a difference. Now, upgrade for this guy. Uh, kill zone. Could be very handy. Because it is another 10 aim on reaction shots. Can critically hit. I think kill zone would be the next logical step. So let's train that ability on him. It's going to take 10 days. I think we have that long. Carry on. Commander, there we go. Another pip in uh, New Avatar Chile. We should hit one of their Which is interesting because that's where I am. So there should be a facility here somewhere. And they get faster reinforcements. Couple of shipments. Again, a whole bunch of plasma grenades, predator armors. Now, I'm thinking of just switching the data decryption to another research project, because right now I have quite a bit of intel. And I think that with the passive intel gain, I can make do. So I would need lyrium crystals. Let's break down a couple of lyrium cores. And then start to research plasma rifles. There's one. New op, what do you have? Four days. 21 hours. We're countering some dark event. 
But four days and 21 hours is not really a long time. Again. Ah. Spatsnaz Adams is ready. Now the rest of her squad took quite a beating. But I'm at least a couple of days ahead. So yeah, in three days these guys are all ready. Who else would I like to train up? Maybe from this group, uh, Dead Dog. So John Wick. Let's see, you're only a sergeant, I think. Where are you, Wick? Here you are. 77 aim, 20 mobility, trained as a melee specialist. So let's see what I can help him with, melee-wise. He already has flesh. Uh, cutthroat. Ignore their armor, 15% critical chance, and do 2 plus critical damage. I think that would be very handy for this guy. Seeing as there are no real other opportunities for improving his melee abilities. Uh, maybe close and personal, but I'm not sure if that stacks if you're going for melee. Uh, no, let's go for cutthroat. Train that. Okay, moving on. I think I need to do one more. One more Larium Core. There we go. Now it's time to research my new plasma weapons. Which is going to take a while. 14 days. Ah, mission. Uh, we're destroying an alien relay. It's part of the liberation chain. We get 36 intel out of it. And the squad that we have is Cobra's bunch. So let's get these guys on up. Now, I gave Cobra a Skulljack, but at this point he doesn't really need it, because I already did the whole uh, Skulljack a Codex operation. So what I can do with him is not just Skulljack, but um, uh, Skull Mine, is it called. And that will allow him to gain intel from anybody, really. Well, so long as they're humanoid. I mean, you're not going to Skulljack or Skull Mine a Muton. And that'll allow me to get a little bit more intel. I think another 10 per successful skull mine. Alright, there's the relay. 40 hit points. There was one guy behind him. We got 9 guys on Squad mission. Shielded. And I have... What is this? 7 on mission? So, sounds about right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Yeah, 7. Do I have a spotter? Wolfman to some extent, but he's just going to get detected like the rest of them. Affirmative. Moving out. Blazing guns. Nothing yet. My plan's to move up, potentially use either a blaster bomb or micro missiles to make a uh, sizable hole in the wall, and then start shooting through that at the objective. The objective is to kill that relay. The objective is not to kill every alien on the map. So that, for me, is not really a priority. Hold on, did you spot something? Oh, you could hack something. Well, we'll do that in a, another turn. Go, go, go. Wolfman over there. Spark over That's here. Hmm... Luke over Got there. It. And Denise. Who's Denise again? You're a new Psy operative, aren't you? I think it's a new Psy operative that I'm training up. On the move. Skull minus sectoid or a golf ball. <laughs> Not likely. Target. Wolfman, what can you see? Eyes on a squad. Okay. That's a rocketeer and an officer. One of them is a prime target for a Skulljack. Provided I'm close enough, that is. And right now I can't quite get there. On my way. Down the motor. Hmm... 
Flavia is my Overwatch specialist, but unfortunately does not come with low profile. So let's move you over there. Wolfman does have low profile over here. The Spark can sit up there. Luke. Luke's also a really good shot. 91 aim. No low profile though. Uh, behind the... Here, behind the house. And then we have the new Psy operative. It's gonna hold you here. The Psy operative, I don't really expect anything from. It's mostly that she's there to gain experience and to uh, be able to level up. Can we get deception, distraction? What does deception give you again? Is that concealment? Oh. So this is fun. Gaining control of a random ally or random enemy for two turns, but it will give my position away. That's not really something that I want just yet. I don't want to get detected. Roger. I've Let's see if these guys on. move. Although I think they might be parked next to that sensor tower. No, they're not parked. Oh, in that case, they're going to find the spark. Unless this little... No, we're fine. That little lip over there on the building apparently blocked the line of sight to the spark. But look at that. Four tiles. He's one tile behind the detection. Okay, I can skull mine either the elite officer or the heavy rocketeer. Uh, this guy has 70 willpower. This guy probably has more, 95. But he has 23 hit points. And this guy has 10. So let's have a chat with the officer. And yes, maybe I should have set up overwatches. Come to think of it. Okay. Let's get an extensive cache of enemy intel. So here's a tech score of 125, which is not related to willpower. My bad. Now, this guy doesn't really have anywhere to go. Because, um... What? You do know he's dead, right? Oh, the game does not know that he's dead. It's gonna be one of those again. Sometimes the game sort of glitches out and thinks that the operative is still alive. Whereas normally a Skulljack does, I think, 99 points of damage, which is enough to kill anybody. Now it didn't. And that's why this one's still up. Nine damage, good. He's burning. Oh, he's panicked. I don't think he's burning exactly. This could be an interesting target just to finish off with... Um, what? The officer just stood up and then went right down again. Anyway, this could be an interesting target just for her. Because she has the best aim. She cannot miss. All right, now the officer. I think Wolfman is closest to what could be another squad, so I'm going to keep you in Overwatch. The Spark, too. Uh, King. King could do it. But I think I'm going to give this to Orphan. And then King can go on Overwatch as well. Game is a bit weird. All right, he's down. Seven targets left. But there could be more, depending on how quickly those reinforcements actually get here. Elite officer trigger Trojan virus? What the hell? Trojan virus is something that happens if you hack a target and then control it, and then it dies. Or then it gets reverted to the original owner, so Advent. That's when that triggers. And that's when that starts to do damage to whatever you hacked. But I didn't actually hack the officer. Well, not in the sense that I took control of it. Speaking of, I think it's time to take control. Let's see what I can get. Or who, rather. Could also give me a good bit of intel early on on whatever else they have on this map. Let's 
Strength level for Advent's not quite high. I'm in. So it could be anything. What do we have here? Elite Rocketeer is mind controlled. Interesting. I guess the officer's not going to like that too much. Nor is the drone. Alright. Let's see if I can pick a fight. No. Or not yet. Uh, Luke, push up. Orphan, rush up. Wolfman on Overwatch and Sparky. These guys are now lead. You're gonna move to the car. Blazing guns, you're gonna move here. Hmm. I see a big explosive device. Oh, here comes the Overwatch. What are we targeting here? That's a Muton. Can I please get eyes on this Muton? There you are. Oh, nice. You put him down to one. Good damage. And then there's a 23-point Archon. But this guy is almost immediately flanked by the Rocketeer. Now, Advent, what are you going to do? Are you going to try and stun this guy? Oh, shit. Critical. One point of damage. Alright. Ah, he went away from the uh, container. Also, I think that his rocket attack just doesn't work because he's now stunned. Or disoriented, rather. Oh, you also get a move. Oh, well, there goes my rocketeer. Oh, well. At least that was one kill that I didn't have to make. Uh, you get a shredder gun. This thing is on Overwatch, which I rather don't like. Seems doable. Let's help him off that Overwatch. Yeah, yeah, you're annoyed and everything. Overwatch removed, Battle Frenzy. It's all fine. Uh, this could be an interesting target for a rocket attack, so I can kill this one and open him up to an attack. But I might need to get a little closer in order to actually get that attack right where I want it to go. Heading out. I'm not sure if this is close enough. Or accurate enough. 3.4. 3.6 deviation. Well... Let's see if this does anything. It did. In fact, it might be even better. Because if I give my spark an order, or um, an overdrive, I can shoot this one, that one, and that one. Take them all out. Well, for the Archon, that's debatable. Do as much damage as possible. And then potentially get more loot out of them. So let's go for the ones that I'm more likely to kill first. There's the mutant. The, there's the loot. That's what I wanted. That's one. This specimen must be there's two. No, he missed. There is a -zero ah, he grazed. Okay, fine. And now he doesn't graze. Okay. So that's four of them active. Yeah, I suppose you do. Let's also call in an extraction. It's going to take four turns before they actually make it here. This is Firebrand. Evac request it is pretty important to take down this guy before he starts calling down airstrikes. Oh, shit. Okay. That was more deadly than expected. Much more deadly, in fact. Uh, Denise. I don't really have anything to target at the moment. So let's move up. Two strong boxes and a couple of cores. I want you to move there. They've got three actives, which is a drone, an officer, and the guy who is sitting over there. So if I can find a good spot and overwatch from it... I might catch them as they're moving. Running. But unfortunately, I don't really have anybody left who can both run and overwatch at the same time. On it. 
Yes, everybody. So no overwatches. These guys are going to move. It's a gunner, yeah. That's the one. Here comes the drone. Probably spend both of its actions on moves. And, oh, they're both there. Have you not heard of the Rocketeer? Locked on. <laughs> that was too tempting. Now I can hack the guy with uh, the, the drone that is, with Cobra. And the rest of them can just go to town and start doing damage. Chance to hit's not great. Soul fire won't kill. Um, yeah, let's just haywire this thing to make sure that he gets more hacking experience. He already has three, what, three, three, three nineteen. Still, if all else fails, if I don't manage to kill the two operatives who are currently alive, at least they'll have something else to shoot at. For some reason, they always want to target their own. All right, let's get damage in on the sergeant. Magically, a window shatters. Sergeant down. Target eliminated. Uh, where do I need to be to kill this thing? To hit him, at the very least. Here. Can't quite get a line of sight. There. Seventy-six. I'll take that. Doesn't need to kill him. Just needs to wound him a little further, because then the psi operative might be able to take him down. Luke, I need a good shot from over here. I know it's low cover, but I think that won't be a problem as the guy is going to be dead. I'm really quite liking this operative, Luke. Luke McDowell. Reliable damage dealer. It'd be a bit of a waste to go for a soul fire on a one hit point enemy, but rather have them dead. Okay. Wolfman. Oh, I'm hearing a. Uh... There it is. Yeah. We have a faceless. Overwatch. I think he's going to go directly for the Psy operative. And with the range that he has, he might actually get some damage in. It depends on how... No? Oh, here's one Overwatch. You're going to take a swipe at the drone? Yep. Well, as mentioned, at least they got something else to shoot at. Alright, Cobra, I need you to close in. It would be perfect if he can get the kill, because he's still not the highest rank. Good night. That is... I don't think he is. Alright, everybody else. Move out. Start to do damage. Because we still need to take down a relay of 40 hit points. For some reason, it just suddenly starts to burn. Why did that catch on fire? All right, I want you to pick up the loot. Three strong boxes. I have so much decoding to do on these strong boxes, but I never get around to it. Thirteen. Uh, let's take down the drone. I would love to keep it around as a pet, but I don't trust it. Impressed yet? Get over Whatever there. Blazing guns, also move up. Already there. 
I would like to bring that Archon home with me. Because these corpses are still relatively rare. And they do allow me new weapon upgrades. More coming in. Ah. Fun police has arrived. That means that the Overwatch specialists are going to be doing exactly that. And the people who I don't expect too much from, like a subcoiler, they're just going to do damage to the device here. And in one turn the extraction is here, so that means that in one turn we can actually leave. Okay. Object destroyed. Um, where do I want to be? I think here. No, it doesn't allow him to pick him up yet. Moving to Overwatch. I want the spark to be in a pretty open position so it can fire in all directions. We will engage the defense. You may proceed. Luke, you got a free reload, so you don't need to. On your order. Close in on the objective. That is the extraction point. On Overwatch. There it goes. Ah, here they are. Oh, a mutant centurion. This is actually worth staying around for. Because those are pretty rare. And they have some really interesting upgrades. Like a... I think the blaster gauntlet comes from them. Now, sticking around does not mean staying around forever. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. I want to get some corpses out. Uh, I want to get some damage in on the officer. Preferably killing. And go fetch that corpse and bring it back. Uh, stick and move would be perfect here. Because I can move to flank. Then kill him. And then move up to his position and pick him up next turn. Now, a set of micro-missiles might be enough to blast away his cover. Yep, it is. Um, who do I want to feed this kill to? Maybe Luke. Ooh, 62 only. Not a problem for Luke, though. What sort of defensive values do you have? Lone Wolf? Interesting. What are you? You're a commando. And a hard target. So he also gets 5 dodge. Yeah, that adds up. But not enough. Well, how about that? Okay. Good work. Moving to position. Let's bring the Archon home. And who else would I like to grab? This drone is not terribly important because I already got quite a few of those. This muton could be an asset. If only to just tear him apart for his alloys and his armor. Oh, where is he? Might be one tile further that way. Flavia, leave. Um... See if I can get the faceless. Yep, there he is. It's going to be quite busy aboard the Sky Ranger today. Quite a few more corpses than I initially... Uh, or quite a few more units went out, or are going to come out, than initially went in. We already got imminent reinforcements. This is definitely that dark event in effect. Because they are coming in far faster than I would ideally like. I still don't know where he is. I'm not going to stick around to find out. Let's just leave. Okay, so we got an Archon. We got a Centurion uh, Elite. Or a Muton Elite. Yeah, good mission. Flawless, is what we call that. Operation Steel Storm.
Great start. Yes, indeed. Let's hope everything goes this smoothly. Should be a promotion for the PSYOP. Oh, a promotion for Flavia? She's a Master Sergeant now. Um, I'm not even sure if I ever got any one of the Guardsmen this high f uh, before. Uh, car skin armor. Sorry. Yeah, I think that's supposed. That's what it's supposed to say. Car skin. It says Kazarkin. I think that's a typo. Uh, cybernetic implants grant immunity to some battlefield hazards, along with the improved reaction speed and general combat prowess. So she also gets combat fitness and combatives. Really? Combatives mean that she can parry melee attacks. She gains immunity to acid, fire, and poison. I can also give her 10 aim, 2 damage, and 1 mobility. I quite like that, because her mobility at the moment is not great. Or I can gain Fanguard. Oh, damn. Um, that's Phantom, so stay concealed when everybody else isn't. Shadow Strike, which means doing more damage from Concealment. Conceal, so if you are detected, you can still get back into stealth. And then to mobility. <sighs> Every one of these is very interesting. Uh, this would allow her to stay or to go on more operations, because she's less likely to get hurt. This means she just output more damage. And I think that that is what is going to be most effective on this particular character. Because this will allow her to have uh, 97 aim plus whatever scope I put on. 2 damage and 1 mobility. And she fires once in a turn. And then she can fire again with her overwatch because she's a guardsman. So let's go for scion training. Cobra. There we go. Cobra is now at first sergeant. The gremlin flies to each squad member, healing or reviving them as needed. Hmm, interesting. But you only really get one charge. Kill zone. Reaction fire against any enemy that moves or attacks. I'm not sure, because this guy is always hacking somebody. And capacitor discharge. Send the gremlin. And just discharge a, a pretty large... Amount of damage over a larger area. Hmm. I think kill zone could be the most interesting one. But if all else goes to shit, then restoration could save lives. Let's go for restoration. Because I'm already building him mostly as a medic. And he seems to be really good at keeping everybody alive. And there's the promotion for the Psy operative. How much intel do we get? 25. Nice work. So that's 25 intel as a reward. And the intel that we got from the mission. So that's another 36. And now we're at 175. This is really, really good. Alright, I think that would be a good conclusion for episode 93. A uh, shorter one, but definitely an interesting mission. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, then by all means, let's join or uh, be sure to subscribe to uh, visit the next one as well up in a couple of days and if you like the content then please consider becoming a patron because i can always use your support link down below in the description all right guys catch you on episode 94